In this video, we will show how to draw atoms, non-bonding electrons, and curved arrows. The question asks us to show the homolytic dissociation of HCl using curved arrows. We'll start by drawing HCl first. With the Draw menu and single bond, clicking on the drawing palette drops a bond. And you'll notice both atoms are hydrogen, since hydrogen is listed first in our atom list. However, we can change that by clicking on the chlorine button, highlighting one of the hydrogens, and clicking to change. Next, we need to add lone pairs, which are located in the More menu. The lone pair button is the two dots, and if we highlight the chlorine and click three times, we can add three lone pairs. Now, the curved arrows are also located in the More menu. We have a double-headed arrow, which represents movement of two electrons, and a single-headed arrow representing movement of one electron. Since this is a homolytic dissociation, we're going to want to select the one-headed arrow, and we're going to want to start at this bond and have one arrow pointing to chlorine, and the other arrow pointing to hydrogen. So if we have the curved arrow button highlighted, and we highlight it over the bond, and we click, this will drop one of the curved arrows. Now you notice the, the curved arrow is red, which indicates that either the starting or the ending position is not in an appropriate position. This automatically changes to the select tool, so that we can either change the ending position or change the starting position, and move it around until it reaches an appropriate position. In our case, we want it to point towards an atom, and once it points towards an atom, it turns black, which lets you know that it is at an appropriate position. We'll repeat clicking the arrow button, highlighting, clicking to drop a second curved arrow, and using the select tool to move it to the other atom. In part two, we need to draw the products, which is simply going to be a hydrogen and chlorine atom. We have broken a single bond, so now each will have one electron. And then we'll on to add the three lone pairs that chlorine had initially to complete the question. Now you'll notice that there are no curved arrows present in the More menu in the products where there were in the part one. As you can see, curved arrows will only be shown when they are required in the question. If the products, for example, do not require curved arrows, they will not be available.